This is Larry Chief Pritchett, uh, Chief Larry Pritchett, the city of Albany, Georgia. Chief, I wonder if you'd uh, tell us, uh, give us in your own words, exactly what happened yesterday upon the arrival of the Freedom Riders into Albany. Well, we received the uh, information through uh, a local paper here, the Southwest Georgia, which is a Negro weekly paper, that the Freedom Riders were coming into Albany Sunday for the Central Georgia train. We also received advance notice of this arrival from the um, uh, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which has an office here. Uh, we were told that they would be in here aboard Central Georgia at approximately 4 o'clock. Uh, we went to the terminal station, which is located on the 100 block of Roosevelt uh, Avenue here in Albany. Uh, we noticed that the Usually on Sundays, it's a very quiet uh, uh, place, uh, very few people around. But yesterday, at this particular time, about uh, uh, three, uh, shortly after three o'clock, the crowds began to mount. Yeah, all the parking uh, areas were full, uh, parking in, uh, on both sides of the uh, street there, and a large gathering of Negro people and white people. Uh, my men were stationed, both uniformed men and detective plainclothes men were stationed there. Uh, on the arrival of these nine people, they were four white and five colored. Uh, upon leaving the train, they proceeded to the uh, waiting room. The large uh, crowd of colored people uh, rushed more or less to meet them, to greet them. Once they went into the waiting room, they uh, rushed into the uh, waiting room there to uh, greet them. They were white people uh, around at the same time. Uh, I instructed my men to block off for their protection, for the, the Freedom Rider protection, uh, to block off the doors. Once they entered, there was quite a bit of milling in the waiting room, milling around both with the uh, white and the colored. Uh, then I approached them and asked, uh, talked to one of the, uh, who seemed to be the leader of the, uh, the Freedom Rider, what their intentions were here in the city of Albany, whether or not they were proceeding on through Albany, or uh, what their intentions were. Uh, one of them advised me that they were waiting for local transportation to take them somewhere in the city. Uh, I told them that we were there for their protection, as well as other people, that we didn't want to see anything happen to them, but it, I would advise them to take that transportation and proceed on to where they were going to avoid further trouble. At which time they left the waiting room and proceeded out into the uh, uh, west side of the terminal, uh, left the apron of the terminal and went into Roosevelt Avenue. At this time there was a large uh, group of colored who rushed out to greet them, shake hands with them. Uh, we had a general disorder there, cars trying to move. Uh, they had the street blocked. Uh, instead of uh, going to the sidewalks, they continued to mill and uh, walk the middle of the street. Uh, I had my men uh, more or less uh, uh, covering them keep anybody from coming in or any disorder uh, to happen, which has happened in other cities here recently, involving the Freedom Riders. And we ordered them to leave the street and proceed on their way on the sidewalk. This order was given uh, four or five times in a matter of five, maybe ten minutes. 